Hello! In this video, we're going to teach you how to update tickets all the way up into the top left. By opening the main menu, you will be able to select tickets. The ticket list view is a very easy page to use. And if you notice, all the way to the left, it offers a few alternatives in terms of how to find tickets. You will be able to search tickets by categories, also by statuses, which reflects how far you've gone through the resolution process, or you can even use your own custom queues. Now, for the simplicity of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and work with tickets assigned to me. So let me go ahead and click on that. I need to focus on those tickets so I can uh, keep up with all the items that are um, assigned to my name. And look at that. I can quickly identify that all those tickets are obviously assigned to me. I can see the statuses that I've applied into previous tickets as well. That means that I've worked those in the past, right? I've added some updates. Customers perhaps might have replied to those. So I'll have to check those a little bit later. But for now, I do have a brand new ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the title to have a better understanding what this ticket is about. So notice to the left of the screen, we have an audit trail. It gives us all the details on all the events that happen on the ticket. This one, for instance, was a ticket that was initiated by Helen. She has a question. The ticket was auto-assigned to me. All the way to the right, I have all the custom fields details. I have details about her, her contact custom fields. I also have details about the way how she initiated this ticket. She used a wet form. So all those are the fields that she completed on the form. Also on the right side, notice that you will be able to create task if you needed to follow up with a client and had a, have a few uh, tasks that you need to complete. You can also add tags or even time spent on a ticket. But for now, I want to keep things simple. I actually want to reply to this customer. So notice all the way to the left, bottom left corner, very simple. You can hit reply and this will allow you to quickly type a response to Helen. Also notice that as you set your responses, you have the ability to share knowledge base articles. In fact, that's what I want to do. I want to uh, quickly share one of them. Let me, in fact, take a quick preview. Yeah, that's about right. That's the one that I want to share. So let me go ahead and insert the uh, link. And it's a nice and clean hyperlink. Now I can just go ahead and move on and reply to the customer. Now, before I hit the reply button, very important, I'm gonna go ahead and update the status on the ticket. I might not necessarily close it because I'm perhaps expecting the customer to reply to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark it on hold for now and add the reply. In a moment here, you'll be able to see how the ticket history has grown. So you'll be able to see uh, Helen's message and my response to her. Now, if this is a ticket that is sensitive uh, and again you are expecting that end user to reply back to you one of the neat things that you can do is you can pin the ticket all the way up into the top left if you notice the pin icon that will add the ticket into the pin bar that you see to the far left let me do that that's it very simple now that i'm done I can always go into the main list again. To, to do that, I can just simply close this ticket page on the top right corner. That will take me directly into uh, uh, the ticket list view. Now, I'm going to demonstrate in a moment what happens as soon as that customer replies. And I do want you to pay attention again to the top left corner. Notice how that pin bar is giving me a little light blue alert. That is it. It means the customer had replied to me. So in real time, I always get to see when there are certain tickets that I'm expecting responses for are being updated. So it saves me time. I can just go into the pin bar, click on the uh, specific ticket, and that takes me directly into the uh, ticket list view where I can see Helen's response. Now, Helen is asking for another update. I can just simply add another reply. And again, I want to remind you guys, this is obviously a, uh, a demo account, so none of this data might be relevant to what you do. But uh, again, I can choose different uh, uh, articles, add a hyperlink. I'll be able to add attachments, add images into my responses. I can add CCs and BCCs if I needed somebody else involved in this ticket. But for now, 
this is sufficient I can go ahead and close the ticket and move on now look at this in my account I have a requirement to update certain fields before I attempt to close the ticket so I'm glad this happened so you get to see it and it's obviously giving me that alert so I am um, due here for a quick update I'm gonna go ahead and add some values update and submit that will send the reply to the customer automatically close the ticket and if you notice all the way to the right side I can see the update on the custom field that I did as well that is it that's simple if you need help with any items related to updating your tickets all the way up into the top corner by clicking the support icon you will be able to either research the knowledge base find other useful videos raise a ticket or you can chat with my support team thank you so much